Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. On 23rd October 2020, which is a week ago, Seiko launched this watch, the Seiko Sumo Limited Edition. Here is me giving you a brief rundown on what you need to know about this watch and what's the difference between this and the other Seiko Sumo. I promise to keep this short. A couple of weeks ago, I did a full review on the Seiko Sumo Green, the SPB103J1. If you'd like to check out how that watch fare or the specification of today's watch, I'll put a link at the description below, as the specifications are exactly the same save for those that I will be mentioning here. The SPB192J1, which is the watch I'm holding here, works exactly the same as the Sumo Green, including the date change. The only difference on this watch are mostly its aesthetics. The first thing you need to know about this watch is that it is only limited to 1200 pieces and is inspired by the Hawksbill Turtle. This watch is exclusive to the Tongxia Watch Company Limited that is only available in Malaysia, Brunei, Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore. The first thing you will notice about this watch is its color scheme. It is supposed to resemble the carapace of the turtle, where some believe that it symbolizes health and prosperity. If you are into feng shui, this might be for you. However, most people will look at the dao and bezel and just call it the root beer, LOL. The overall design and shape of the watch is exactly the same with the SPB103J1. However, this watch has two colors on the bezel where the first 20 minutes is in brown and the rest of the bezel is in black. The dial on this watch has a wave pattern like those you see in an Omega Seamaster Diver 300. The color of the dial has a hint of brown. The hands and indices are coated with rose gold just like the outer ring of the bezel where the coin edge is located. The watch has the same case back save for the words limited edition and the rendition number engraved on it. The limited edition watch comes with this limited edition black box, which if I'm being entirely honest, I think the non-limited edition boxes are so much better built and better looking. You can check out that box in my unboxing video on my Seiko Sumo Green which I'll put a link at the description below. Anyway. Who cares about the box, right? This watch is priced at 3,800 ringgit, which is only 300 ringgit more than the non-limited edition ones. So there you have it. Those are the only differences I've spotted on this watch. If I miss anything, please notify me at the comments below. So what do you think? Does this aesthetics upgrade appeal to you for that increase in price? Let us know at the comments below. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to support me and I'll really, really appreciate it and promise to upload more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.